To be honest, it seems like Blizzard has been doing some really good stuff with this season. So first, we're going to check out the shop, see what's new. Sojourn with the detective outfit. Same with Hog with his heels and his gun. His gun looks pretty fucking cool. And his... Oh my goodness, man. That looks really fucking nice. And finally, we have Cyber Monk. And honestly, kind of reminds me of Cyberpunk Edgerunners, which is a W anime if you haven't seen it already. But let's check out the Battle Pass, which is probably going to be shit. And also, Blizzard, this new season is not going to make us forget about the sexual harassment lawsuits. Anyway, let's get into to it. If we actually pay for the fucking game, we'll get Alari first, and then we also get some Ferris skin that looks. I I mean I mean pff, it's it's I mean I mean it's all right, but like look how tiny the head is, and the gun looks kind of mid. I don't know. I don't like these combinations of colors of white, red, and gray. You know, it just kind of looks mediocre. But let's move on to the coins, and honestly, nobody even fucking cares about about any of this. Look at this, and honestly, this looks better than a lot of the Torbjorn skins that have been released. I mean, look at this, that looks mid. Mid and mid, actually, this looks pretty fucking, never mind, it's bad. That th Other than the skin, uh, this stuff is horrible, but the skin itself looks pretty fucking cool. And then we have the Reaper, you know, Reaper pose, he's walking. And then we have this Reaper pose, which should honestly be free because it sucks so much. And as for the Zenyatta uplift animation... <sighs> Uh, I don't know, man. I don't know if I want to pay my money for that specifically, but let's move on. Let's move on to the Life Weaver pose, which looks absolutely dog shit. And honestly, who plays Life Weaver anymore? They should, they should have just scrapped his whole idea. They should have just removed him from the fucking game because he doesn't do anything useful. And now we got a weapon charm who uses those. Who uses any of these? And we got a bag of... Uh, or a box of tissues for some reason. Hyper soft, dry your tears. I don't know why this is in the game, but let's move on to another useless voice line that no one's going to use. And now we have Alari Pajamas. You know what? You know, Alari Pajamas looks kind of cool. I'm kind of biased because my name is Pajama Atticus, and honestly, I love wearing pajamas. But at the moment, I'm not wearing pajamas right now. I'm wearing my work clothes because I got to go to work really soon. So that's why this video is probably going to be a very short one because I have to do this one fucking ASAP in, in a... In, in a lightning minute, but this Roadhog skin, it lo looks pretty fucking cool. I mean, it's better than a lot of his legendary skins, actually. So this one actually should be legendary, and I really like the theme of grass and green and gray and whatnot. So this one looks pretty sick. As for this pose, I don't know. We get a lot of characters walking this season. I don't know why we're paying for characters that are walking for money, but honestly, it just seems like the creativity has died down a little bit, especially with this new invasion chapter. And here we are for Bob. And honestly, this looks kind of sick. I like it. I like the fact that Bob and Ash are just thumbsing us down and trying to finger the fuck out of us. And then we have more useless shit. Look at this, dude. It's it's just a bunch of useless shit. Now we have Cassidy shooting some cans, which kind of... I don't, pff, I, don't, I don't know, man. This doesn't look exactly as good as I wanted it to be, but it's free. So you know what? That's the plus side. And now we have the Sentry for Symmetra. And this is a very good Symmetra skin. I like the colors. Out of the 50 things we've checked out so far, only three of them are really good. So let's move on. And here is the Mythic skin. And this Mythic skin kind of looks sick. I don't know. There's not a lot of options to change anything, especially with the Tracer Mythic skin that came out last time you had it three weapon slots and you had way more colors than this but maybe that'll upgrade as we get through more of the battle pass and this alaria skin is free but it's only a comet skin so it's not that good uh and then we have monkey just flying up and down just look i don't i don't know how he i don't know how the fuck he's floating so uh here's apocalypse zara apocalypse zara looks kind of mid and all of these are mid i mean look at this i mean you look through this whole thing and you see wrecking all oh, you know what I enjoy a Wrecking Ball emote at any time, and we're getting more character walking emotes, and honestly, this is the only good and creative one, and it seems like they've actually worked hard on, because every hand emote is fucking sick as shit. They are so cool. And now, here we go to Winston, where Winston looks like fucking ass. In my opinion, this is not a good legendary skin. This looks kind of bland, and the original skin's better. Now let's move on to the other one. Ooh, more mythic. So oh my goodness me. So this is basically it for the, uh, what do you call it? The mythic skins, because the mythic skins, I don't know. The mythic skins this season aren't really that good. And this color scheme, in my opinion, is the only good color scheme in here because tier 80 or both of the tier 80s don't look as appealing as tier 41. And tier 41 is only the first one. But I do like the tier 80 skin right here. The tier 80 skin looks really fucking cool. And now let's move on to the rest of useless ass bullshit. And let's see if Bob has any changes. Bob has a lot of changes. Honestly, this looks pretty sick. Every Bob skin, every Bob emote, everything Ash and Bob related looks really fucking cool because Bob and Ash in general look really fucking cool and any colors on them look absolutely brilliant. So let's move on to the bananas because bananas are definitely what should be in the game right now. 
Um, let's move on because there's more useless shit, more useless shit. And a Widowmaker emote, which I can always appreciate, but there's a spider and I fucking hate spiders, so fuck that emote. And that is the end of the Battle Pass, where the Battle Pass yet again disappoints us with nothing actually new. Yeah, and that's right, we have a new practice range because the practice range got updated finally. I mean, I, I mean... To be honest, I like the old practice range. The old practice range was nice, it was cool, it was pretty simple, uh, but hopefully the firing range in here isn't too overcomplicated, but it improves upon itself pretty good. Let's look at Alari's kit. So she can basically put down one I don't know how this will help the team too much, especially since it can be destroyed so easily, but let's check, but let's check out the rail gun, which, oh, holy shit, this does like, dude, it does like a ton of damage, you can practically two-shot a motherfucker, look at this, boom, and bop, it can two-shot people, let's see if it can one-shot a tracer, which it probably can't, but add it on with a punch, you can't really two-shot either. Let's try the shift ability where she can, ooh, basically a better life weaver. And now we have her ultimate. What does her ultimate do? So, oh, look at this. Damn. That's actually pretty fucking neat. It's just an improved version of her railgun. And her railgun is very hit scan and hit fire. So maybe it'll be really good up against Pharahs and uh, Echoes, you know, when we get to play them. If you like the video, make sure to like, subscribe, and comment below and turn on this notification bell so you can never miss a video. And I will see you guys later. Definitely later, because honestly... Later is kind of cool. All right, see you guys later.